Tierra here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am I'm back with another Game of Thrones inspired soap. So lots of fandom going on for this next release. And I've had these scents lying around since they were released. And I'm finally getting around to doing another one. And I've dragged my feet on this because while they have a bad rep. They have a history of just being difficult and I've even made a soap with them that's totally bombed and failed and they just don't behave and not not even going into the fact that the season is over and I wasn't happy with the ending. So there's a lot of reasons why I've avoided working with the rest of these scents. So I still have maybe four more scents to use. This one is called King of the North and it sounds very wintry to me and I thought I would just give it a go. So I've just poured in my lye solution that has sodium lactate and tussa silk in to my oils that has coconut milk powder and kaolin clay in there. We're going to whisk it together. I am I'm working with a sculpted layer again. You guys are going to see a lot of the same design aspects in this soap that you saw in the snitch soap, but not really. You'll see. I'll show you. It's not as fancy as the Quidditch soap. Alright, so these look like they are at least well enough mixed together that they're not separated. We want this to stay liquidy so that we can work in layers. And I'm going to pour this off into my different shades here. I've got a couple colors, maybe you will say, are shades of black going into this because Jon Snow takes the oath. He's sworn into the Brotherhood of the Night's Watch and he just wears a lot of black. Everything is black in the Night's Watch and he's just surrounded by snow. <laughs> That's pretty much where the inspiration for this soap design came from. So I've put into these little containers some titanium dioxide that has been dispersed in water. And into this guy I have some pewter silver from Brambleberry. And into the big guy I'm going to mix in some black oxide pigment and some activated charcoal and that is going to be our first layer in the soap. the fragrance and hoping that it doesn't cause any chaos. That would be really nice if this one out of all of them could behave. It does say it has 0.10% vanillin in it and it does this color to tan. I'm hoping that if I add a whole bunch of dark colors and lots of titanium dioxide that you won't even be able to see any type of discoloration. This is a very very masculine scent. It's very strong. It reminds me of Axe like body sprays or deodorant. The notes in it are crisp citrus, eucalyptus, cold morning air, meadow grass, and cedarwood. It is, it is very strong. It reminds me of something I guess maybe that Jon Snow would smell like. <laughs> Alright, I have mixed that all in and it looks like everything is going nicely. I'm gonna get my mold over here. And we're going to pour in that first layer. I'm going to wait for it to set up and then I'm going to run that cake comb through it to make that design, the sculpted layer design in it that I'm, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of like fur because they wear a lot of fur. If it reminds me of feathers or if it reminds me of the wall, I just thought it would be really cool to have a sculpted layer in this. Do a in the pot swirl for this and not pour all of this gray in. I'm going to leave some of it for the top so that I can make a fancy swirl. So not scraping that out, just like that. 
and we'll start pouring. I am so happy this fragrance has decided to cooperate because if it didn't, we would have had a big problem. If it would have taken a turn for the worse, I don't think I would have time to do anything about it. We have so much to do today and so many errands to run that I'm kind of rushing. I have to be somewhere in an hour. So thank you, King of the North, for cooperating. <laughs> I appreciate it. We just have so much to do today. We've got a Christmas party to go to. So the building that my work rents from is called Hill Management and they have a whole bunch of different properties. They are hosting their yearly tenant Christmas party and they go all out. They have the buffet going with the desserts, wine and beer. If you bring a toy to to donate for like toys with tots or a canned good, they give you a raffle and you can win like TVs. I've won an Echo Dot before. I've won a haircut. I've, my friend has won a gift card to one of the restaurants in the building. So there, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. And one year I won the ugly Christmas sweater thing. <laughs> Big giant chocolate Santa. So gotta go do that tonight. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I always look forward to that. Always, always, always. We've also had a really big Christmas weekend. Let me scrape out the rest of this and then I'll show you what is going on the top of it. I'm gonna play in this a little bit with a chopstick. That looks good. Chopstick over here. And just make a pretty design on the top. And so I have some feathers that I've colored in black to match the ravens throughout the series. There's like the three-eyed raven and they use ravens as their communication of sending messages. So I thought ravens and feathers would look good on here. And then I have these bursting beads from Brambleberry to represent the snow, and Jon Snow and of course the North. Here are the feathers, we're gonna start putting those on. So with these feathers, I'm just going to randomly place them all over the top of this. They might get cut, but that is okay. And I have some big feathers and I have some little feathers. So I'm hoping that like if I put one here and yeah, they'll work in between the little guys. So we'll do this way. Oh, I'm loving this already. It's I'll put the little feathers on last. I'll just squeeze them on in there, I think. Like, in the end, we'll find places for them. The more important part is getting these big feathers on here. So over the weekend, we went out with another couple, a friend of ours, to a town called Hamden. And I did grow up in Hamden for a couple years when I was younger, went to school there, and, and very familiar with it. But it has changed a lot since then. It used to be like the 36th Street used to be the street where my parents would rent their furniture and my pediatrician's office would be and so I didn't have very fond memories of the street. But it's since been updated and it's now considered like the avenue of Hamden, Hamden and they have different boutiques and it's just very hip and trendy and lots of new stuff going on there. You go shopping and good places to eat and so we went to go walk and Christmas shop and look around but they still held on to a lot of the traditions. They had a Christmas parade going on and they had um, like a little Christmas market and so we just walked around that. They have this one street, it is called 34th Street. And it's like Miracle on 34th Street because they decorate this up every single year. This thing is decked out. Like if you live on the street, there's probably something in your contract that says you have to decorate for Christmas. It's insane the amount of decorations and people just walk up and down and like look at your, your they even, some people even let you inside their houses and decorate the inside of their houses. Like they go crazy. So it was the first time that I actually walked that. I know I've drove by it when I was younger, but I've never actually walked through it. So we got some hot cider and we walked through that. We did about four miles of walking that day. Um, and it was very, very pretty. I got some hot apple cider 
And on the way back, we stopped at a place called The Charmery and they had some eggnog ice cream that had rum in it and a roasted chestnuts type of ice cream. And it was just so much fun to see all of the Christmas like festivities that they do down there. It's just like a tradition. They have something called the Hun Fest. I'll have to go to that one year. Baltimore is known for its its style. It's like Hun style. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like beehives and Baltimorean accents. And when I say beehives, I mean like the hairdo beehives. And so maybe one year I can go to the Hun Fest and share that with you guys. That would be a lot of fun. I've never done that either. They had marching bands and floats and just giant balloons. And it was just so fun to watch. We went there at one o'clock when it started. And we went and ate and had some fancy drinks and came back out and it was still going on. I think it went from like 1 to 4.30. It was the longest parade I have ever been to. Alright, I like how this looks. This is exactly how I imagined it. I, I, I'm happy with it. So I'm going to give it a spray with a rubbing alcohol. We'll let this sit and I think I'm going to let my soap dishes sit as well so I can go get ready and walk out the door. Alright, time to look at the inside of this. And how did we do? Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. I, I'm just loving these sculpted layers and swirls. And it smells really, really good. It is a really strong fragrance and I think a little bit goes a long way. But it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. Definitely going to be making more of this to keep available in the shop for a little bit because I don't usually do a lot of men scents and I think this is just the perfect guy scent. It smells so good. The last step is to get the stamp on the front of it and I have that little dire wolf. Of course, he's going to go on there. This is from Rockin' Roberts. He is getting a lot of my business for my fandom soap uh, soap themes for this next release. There are so many of them. <laughs> Getting use of all of my stamps. Uh, update of the party last night. Bradley and I did not win anything, sadly. Don't win every year, but I think we won the last two years. That's alright. The food and the company are always worth it. Those are the best part. The food is just so real. It's really good. There we have it. This soap is going to be available on the January 24th release date. Stay tuned because I'm going to stamp the front of it and leave some Christmas footage of things that Bradley and I have done. And I'm going to get started on my Christmas cookies after this, so those might end up in there somewhere as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw. Don't forget to subscribe. If any questions or comments or you just want to chat, you can leave them in the comment section down below. You know, same old, same old. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I will smell you later.